What's up guys, Pronto here, and I got some NBA 2K12 for you guys today, and that's pretty awesome because for the 2K12 viewers, the 2K viewers actually, because some of you are from 2K11, uh, that'll be good for you guys because I am not really feeling it right at the moment. It's, I don't know what it is for me that I'm just not liking 2K like everybody else. I don't know what it is because I really, really am trying to like it and it's it's fun to me but it's just like it doesn't have what 2k11 had for some reason i just don't really understand it but i don't know i'll figure it out i don't think the lockout getting the rookies in the game is going to change anything but if you guys were wondering because i heard i seen a couple comments i didn't hear a couple comments um if you guys are wondering i'm going to continue joe price like it is i'm not going to make a new uh my player as soon as the rookies come into the game uh, what is that Christmas or whatever I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna stick with Joe Price but I'm gonna make an association so stay tuned for that not too sure what team I'll pick but we'll figure that out later and look at that I tried I tried to go for the dunk and I hit a guy in midair but no foul was called maybe that's part of why I'm a little uh, not into 2k12 this year and I just cherry pick all the way down at the other end but yeah, like, I didn't even get fouled there. It's just like, it's, it's it's like they never finished the game. And I don't really like to rant on it, but... Oh my god, Luis Scola just threw that one down. I just I just had to stop for a moment while he slammed that down. Usually, Anthony Randolph slamming it down like that off the putbacks. But there, Luis Scola did it over him. But yeah, I don't really like ranting on it. But sometimes it just has to be brought out because it's just... I don't really know what it is. Lots of other people, lots of other commentators know what it is. I don't. I, I don't understand what the hell it is that makes it just not as appealing. Um, I don't know. But I'll, I, I, I guess I'll keep trying it and maybe it's just the editing because it takes forever for me to edit one of these games. That might be a part of the reason. I almost get a JP for three here, but I'm just inside the three-point line. And watch this play right here. Kevin Martin's going to give it to Williams, and he's going to get his nuts all up in my face. But he is called for a charge on the play, so that's all good. And right here, I'm trying to get Anthony Randolph, and he's like, no, I don't want to go to the bucket. And then he gets the ball, and he's like, now I do, and just takes it up and reverse slams it. That was a crazy dunk there by Randolph. But I was like, why aren't you moving? And are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Like, how how does that work? Like, I was... Oh, I don't even want to speak about it. JP for three, by the way. Ooh, I almost missed that one. And right here, getting an easy steal off that uh, pass to the post that they like to do. I'm going to give it to Ellis. He's going to try to work Budinger. But he's going to give it to me. And I get my man crossed up. And I'm doing an old school hook there. I don't know what that was. I did it a couple times in this game, actually. I oh, I don't know what it was. I, I've never done it before. And then all of a sudden, this game, every time, I'm going down that, uh, going down the paint, and I just do that, and Randolph right here, I'm going to slam that down with Randolph. Alley-oop slam. It's always nice to have that big guy that can take those and bring them down on your team because it, it just creates um, fun, more fun. And look at right here. What? Williams is determined to dunk on my fucking head. Holy shit. And there he did, and I fouled him as well. So that's too bad there. But, like, really, he was determined to pulverize me. I don't know what he had out for me. I, I must have said something about his mom earlier. But right here, JP for three again. I was on a cold streak right there, as you might have saw. But uh, I think that broke the cold streak right as soon as I did that. And here I'm messing with my man. Look at it, diving it again. I'm doing that left-handed hook. I don't know where it came from, but it it's working out. Here I get my man jumping. I'm wide open. JP full three. Oh damn, I haven't did that in a while. God. And then right here, he, like, what are you trying to do? You trying to box me out like that and trying to get that overhead pass? It ain't happening. Full court pass. Get the assist. But yeah, I haven't did the uh, JP for three in a while, <laughs> and so I thought I'd bring it back, because uh, some people like that, not all people. But look at that, that was a dumb, like, brick air ball shot right there, I don't know what he was going for on that one, 
Now I'm going to give it to Beasley. Nice little finger roll by Beasley. But yeah, he just launched that one up. And that's like what I'm talking about. That was like the dumbest shot. But for some reason, he did it. And here I was trying to go for a dunk there. And I almost actually get uh, off the backboard block. Some of you might call it LeBron. And right here I get the steal. And watch this. I'm like, let's go, Randolph. And he shouldn't have ate that popcorn. He almost had that in his hands. Did you see that? Replay that if you didn't see that. And I'm like, one more time, Randolph. Let's get it. And it doesn't really work out uh, so that I can do that. But I was, like, shocked at how it was so perfect. I almost got the off-the-backboard alley-oop. I've never done it in 2K11 or 2K12. So I was pretty hype. And then Anthony and Randolph let me down. That's too bad. Right here, Randolph getting the steal. Maybe he's earning back some of that uh, respect I lost for him. And then Beasley with the slam cam. Slamming it down right there on Luis Scola. He says, get that shit out of here, man. He ain't going to block that. And look at right there. I got called for a backcourt violation. We're going to the replay. Oh, yes, we are. That might be not a good enough angle for you. But here you go. He's way over the line. That's maybe part of the other reason why no nobody likes 2K12 this year. Because of stupid things like that like how does that even work in your game like they should have those certain things polishes like backcourt violation but anyways guys hope you enjoyed this rant slash uh, gameplay my player commentary uh, i got play of the game so watch that see you later